I'm not finna go down for this. And from what Black Youngster said, he said Big Moochie Grape. He told on everybody. Y'all gotta really look at this. And when you work for the ops, it real life come back on you. And we already know for a fact that it's some people don't believe the fact that they did that to Young Dolph. We've been saying this since the beginning. I want y'all to really look at this because Young Dolph didn't think that this was gonna come down on him as it as it did. Like, however, in all other words, you feel me? We know for a fact that Yo Gotti, he gonna end up really doing at least forty. The truth is out now. Big Moochie Great, A B shooters, like real life, they met with CEO Daddy O. Like, it goes to show that Go Van, he got the 40K from Yo Gotti Homie. Yo Gotti Homie was the one that gave him the money. So I want y'all to know that ain't nobody finna sit there and put none on money bag, yo, because they were shocked when the feds even mentioned money bag your name. Black youngster, he had this look on his face like, dang, they found out. Like y'all gotta understand the prosecutors they sent back looking at it like, hold on. They was mocking young Dolph. They went to his gravesite, you feel me? They went to the tombstone instantly, did what they did. Like, real talk, y'all know for a fact that Black Youngster won by itself when they did that. So, all the karma that came back on them, when Buddy ran up on Black Youngster, y'all got to look at it. Finesse two times, he really don't like Black Youngster still to this day because when he was in tour with Moneybag, yo, when all that was going on, J. Prince Jr. told Black Youngster, like, man, y'all going to have to keep it cool, man, and you going to have to be the mediator. You going to have to be the one who real life not... Let them, like, real live, like, send it up. Like, I want y'all to really look at this, man. And Young Dolph's brother, Marcus Thorne, he sat back and said that they appeared in court doing straight drop in Cornelius Smith, Makita's. Like, I want y'all to really look at that, man, because Finesse two times, he, like, feeling like, like they, like, they gonna turn on him. Like, you gotta really look at this. Mia J, she finalized the sale of documents for CEO Daddy O, owner of Young Dolph Cars. Like, I want y'all to really look at that, man. Once they did that, we already knew what it was. So, by the fact of Young Dolph even, like, real life getting that mural, do you know how many people went up to that mural in real life? They tried to really shut it down from Makita's, man. Y'all got to look at the fact that Black Youngster had the backdoor key. We got to understand and open our eyes and realize what's really going on. Black Youngster had his people already set up. Like, y'all got to really look at that, man, because FBI tracker located Black Youngster shooters. Like, y'all got to really take full initiative to the conjunction because we know for a fact straight drop, looking at the fact that the judge didn't approve his hearing. Like, he wanted a bond that day. Like, y'all got to really look at that, man. He trying to get up out of there. And for for the simple fact, fact that y'all know that Yo Gotti, he got too many bodyguards that saw what happened. Y'all know for a fact. Y'all know that Young Dolph wanted Key Glock to real live, continue to real live, step on them. Hey, step on them boys next, man. At the end of the day, we know for a fact that it's too many people who played a role in this and people sit back looking at it like, why did the DA, like, why didn't the DA go so hard like they did for all them other cases? They they didn't go so hard because when the feds pick something up, they can't even disclose certain information that you know for a fact, the Bentley truck connection. That Bentley, it had a lot to do with Everything that was going on, because once they released them videos, they showed the Bentley truck right across the street from Makita's, and they knew for a fact that if Daddy O was in there, he had four people in there with him. Like, you got to understand how many people hopped out. Dude hopped out the side. Once dude hopped out the side, he instantly ran across the street. He saw two cars coming. He stepped back, because he already had on all black, so he didn't want to look suspicious. He ran up. Straight drop them, instantly pull up. Dude ran in Makita's black youngster them, came around the back, went through the back door. They blocked them in. Y'all got to really look at that, man, because a lot of people sit back and look at the fact that, like, Young Dolph, he hired a lot of people to protect him, but they really didn't protect him because going to be the first to fold. Y'all already know, pressure bust pipes. People can't sit back and really put their finger on everything that's going on, but you can really look at this and open your eyes to the fact 
that this is a revolving door and in all actual reality. Dolph ain't deserve that. And we know for a fact that everything was orchestrated and Big Moochie great. He sat back there and looked at it like, hold on. They instantly, unreportedly, anonymously get the hey, get them people who they need. Like, I want y'all to understand, man. And the reason why they do it that way is because it's always somebody in your camp who working for them people. And they said that OG Bang Wayne was the main one who connected black youngsters with young Dolph Makita's. I want y'all to really look at that because OG Bang Wayne, he took the PRE chain and he instantly, he got it tested. He, hold on, this Fugazi, folk. Like, at the end of the day, you already know that they got the fingerprints that they needed from everybody who was there at that store who walked inside of Makita's, who came out of Makita's. They dusted the whole place. So I want everybody to really look at that and take heed to that because the feds, they did their job. They realized they did their job, and people wanted justice for Dolph. Everybody want justice for Dolph. R.P. Dolph, man. Because at the end of the day, we know for a fact that it's too many people who sit back and take it for granted. You got to look at this man and be like, hold on. Now I can't even go to the cookie shop. I'm going to stay in the house. If they knew that it was only 40 k how much the straight drop get paid? You feel me? At the end of the day, we know for a fact the streets be talking, and the streets talking now. Everybody know that. Who telling? Somebody telling. Because Straight Drop knew for a fact that that won a lot of money that was split around through all them guys. 40 k wasn't enough. It was too many people that got paid under the table, and it wasn't broadcasted like how the 40 k was broadcasted. So it was people who got 2000 It was people who got 3000 just to be the lookout. It was people who got, like, it was like a couple people who got, like, the big lump sums. You feel me? It was a couple people who got paid 1500 So this goes to show that they was hurt. They was like, hold on, we did all this, man. What if our name come up in a RICO indictment? You know for a fact that if you really subtract the fact that 40000 not enough from the equation, like a lot of people really would sit back. Like, if they would have got paid forty k a piece, it would have been up. You see what I'm saying? People would have realized, took the charge. People would have realized, did what they did, man. So we got to understand, this is a revolving door, and we got to open our eyes to the fact of what's really going on because there's too many people who sit back and look at it like, hold on, they playing games, man. They real live putting they self on the line, man. You can't put yourself on the forefront and can't take the charge. If you play that game, man, you got to real live go head in. That's why they say they was cut, though, when they real live split that money up, boy. So I want y'all to really look at this, man. It was a lot of people got sent up behind this. If if you know for a fact that Yo Gotti was real live wrong, like, for putting the 40K out there, because it all came back to him. You have to let me know, because in the comment section, it has to be people saying, like, what they really think. And from what his cousin saying, his cousin didn't like the fact that Yo Gotti was the one who got brought up in all this. So it goes to show, like, hold on, Yo Gotti... He said that he knew what he was doing, man, and he didn't think that they was going to come back on him because he wanted the one at Makita's at the time, but he was at his, like, his OG shop, like, the restaurant. Y'all got to understand, when they went to the restaurant, they knew that Black Youngster then ran in there. Like, I want y'all to really look at that, and they went and questioned Black Youngster, and Black Youngster said he wasn't at Makita's. Like, y'all got to really look at that. They went right to Black Youngster because they had suspicion, and they got, they really got a tip that Black Youngster has something to do with this. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because if we understand that this is a revolving door and we can open our eyes to the fact of what's really going on, we can all really look at MPD and be like, you know what, they did their job. They realized that out there, and they opened they you feel me, they opened the doors for everybody to come in and get a like, their opinion on what happened in to give the evidence that was basically at the scene that people didn't really speak on on the video when Young Dolph got set up. So I want y'all to know that it's a lot of people who sit back looking at this like, hold on, he put his eggs in one basket. You can't put all your eggs in one basket because we know for a fact that it was 40K put up like this that wasn't enough. And from what Quavo said, Quavo mentioned the fact that 
Mob Ties, they said that and told black youngster, like, man, you got to keep yourself out of this type of situation. You can't begin yourself in this, man, for other people. Once they saw that big juke, he folded. Once they put him in the lineup, y'all got to really look at this, man, because how did his homie get caught? Go van. His homie got caught because they caught big juke at a traffic stop. Once they locked him up and put him, you feel me, up in there, they put him in the lineup, and they brought up a whole nother case. So I want y'all to really look at what's done, and the dark comes to the light because... From what they did, CMG going to feel it because the whole Memphis heating up right now. Everybody know for a fact that Young Dolph, he put a lot of people into position. And Key Glock, he put a lot of people on. Y'all got to really look at that. Key Glock is me and Jay's nephew. I want y'all to really pay attention and put your finger on the evidence that was found. Like, Key Glock, he was shocked to see that black youngster and money bag yo had something to do with it because you know for a fact that they used to real life had their own little click. They was clicked up at one point in time. They wouldn't have raided black youngster like 19 of his homies' crib. They wouldn't have been able to raid them if they had no evidence that it was connected to Makita's. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because people said that Yo Gotti was messing with Makita Raven. So this goes to show that Makita Raven, she did everything she could to keep Young Dolph at good grace. You feel me? So that she can be able to give Black Youngster the key so he can have them boys run through the back door. I want y'all to really look at this because the people who was inside the cookie shop, they didn't see them running out the back because they already unscrewed the cameras from at the top. Y'all know right there above the garbage can in the back of Makita's, everybody know about the black, like right there by the black gate that say trespassing. It's a whole like little pun behind Makita's where they ran through the, they instantly jumped the gate, man. One of the other dudes, he go through the hole in the other side of the gate. He went straight through the cut. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because Young Dolph knew that it was a lot of people acting suspicious when he came. That's what made him even tap his brother Marcus Thorne and be like, hey, boy, be on point because I don't know what's going on, but they trying to keep me in here longer than I usually be in here. So I won't blame Young Dolph for even saying that because if you come in a place for 10 minutes, 15 minutes at a time when you do go out, people expecting to try to keep you in there for 20, 30 minutes talking. Like I want y'all to understand, Young Dolph moved at a way like he didn't want to talk unless it was about money. So once the conversation veer off to something else that ain't got nothing to do with basically getting a profit off of something, like he ain't gonna, he gonna change the subject and get up out of there. Money Bag Yo became a target as soon as he signed Finesse two times they gave him that back end. Once you really pay attention to it, they looking like, hold on. Like y'all gotta really look at that and the car that Young Dolph was in, only a few people knew that him and his brother was the only ones gonna be in there. Once Young Dolph was at that gas station, he knew for a fact that somebody was following him. He knew for a fact that something was off. Who's to say that Makita's did this, did that? Don't nobody really know for a fact if Makita Raven was there or not. Like, a lot of people got their own speculations on what occurred at the situation in the scene. But when the feds come... They don't play. And when the DA real life rolled them indictments out that they did, y'all got to understand, they got scared when they saw them RICO indictments. They All they kept saying was, dang, man, they got us now. The prosecutors ain't going to play because they know for a fact that it's times like where people was paid in like Charlotte, if you really look back at it, like, Yonsa was charged, but then he was acquitted for all charges. I want y'all to really look at what's going on, man. And then when they look back at the California incident, all they kept saying was they missed with 100 shots. So this goes to show that Young Dolph was in line when he made that song. So I want y'all to really look at this, man. These people tried to take that man out. He had multiple attempts on him. They kept saying that they kept trying to get him back to back. If they got him... Everybody know for a fact that they would have instantly sent them up right then and there, either in Charlotte or they would have sent them up in, in Cali. Like, I want y'all to really look at that, man. 
All the man was doing was shopping. Young Dolph had people with him, but the people was with him. They answered. They told him, hey, man, hey, who's that cop study pulling up? But you got to understand, when you in the same city as the person who's supposedly your op, it gives all the feds all rights to real life tag you to it because you were the one in the vicinity when all this went down. They looked at it like, hold on, why did Key Glock even really sit right there and wanted to real life collect the evidence for what happened to Young Dolph? You saw everybody walking around. They instantly tried to take Young Dolph jewelry, and they said that the watch disappeared. They said that. Ain't no telling how true that is. I want y'all to really look at that, man, because anybody know that special agents, when they receive a tip on everything that's going on, we know for a fact that Snoop Bands should have been there. He should have been the one that was right there at the door, like real life blocking, because we know for a fact that young Dolph's brother Marcus doing, he won the real hitter like Snoop Bands. You feel me? Y'all got to really look at that, man. They put a bag on that man. Once they put that bag on Young Dolph, it was over with because only a few people knew his whereabouts. Everybody didn't know where Young Dolph was going to be at. He didn't want to talk unless it was about money. So once the conversation veer off to something else that ain't got nothing to do with basically getting a profit off of something, like he ain't gonna, he gonna change the subject and get up out of there. Money bag yo became a target. As soon as he signed finesse two times, they gave him that back end. Once you really pay attention to it, they looking like, hold on, that came out of that forty k. Like you gotta understand, finesse two times. He took the BGE chain. He say like, man, I can't even do it like that, man. Like, I got it with a mob ties in the clan chain. Like, y'all got to really look at that, man, because this is something that he stood for. He realized, looked at it like, man, money bag, you a target, man. And you know we was already beefing, so you got to realize, keep your distance. You can be around me every now and then, but you can't come around thinking that it's all cool when we already know that, like, everything that happened. And all finesse two time kept trying to say it. He trying to whisper to his homie and tell him, like, man, I know what Moneybag did to Young Dolph. This what goes to show, like, people looking at it like, I knew Finesse two times, knew that Moneybag Yo set Young Dolph up. And Moneybag Yo didn't want Finesse two times to real life even get cool with Young Dolph because they knew for a fact that if Finesse two times would have got cool with Young Dolph, it would have made it to a finesse two times. Instantly start being cool with Kegla. And you know for a fact that Money Bag Yo and Black Youngster not cool with Kegla no more. So we know for a fact that Snoop Bands, he opened his mouth and said finesse two times. I rock with you harder than them, anything. But we all know what happened to Dolph. We already know everybody that played a role in this what went on. And we know for a fact that Makita's sat there and they knew. They could have locked them doors before dude and them even ran in there because they said dude opened the door. He he put the blick inside the window. Once he put the blick inside the window, he started instantly stopped blowing with his arm in there. His wrist was like, it was halfway up his wrist, like almost to the elbow when he stuck his arm in Makita's and started blowing. Then he instantly went outside and started blowing. Like y'all got to really look at this because from what the Fed is saying, this could be something that could really get them booked right here. And I know for a fact that CMG head, like the head of the whole CMG, they know that, dang, man, yo, Gotti, he did what he did, but we going to burn him out. Y'all got to understand, a person could get burned out on a Rico if they give you a bun. So we know for a fact that yo, Gotti got enough bread to be able to do what he got to do. But black youngster... He ain't going to bum money bag yo out if money bag yo get booked for the Rico. We know for a fact that he going to care about himself and he's going to literally have somebody to go up there and pay for him to get bonded out. Once they put Yo Gotti in the back of that police car, we already knew it was over with because when the feds come, they got the evidence they need. They not finna waste no money like the state do. Y'all got to really look at this and it's sad that 
when you get the bag, most people don't move out the hood. Most people don't want to move out the hood because a lot of their families still be in the hood. That's why Makita sat back and said, like, yeah, Dolph was our family. How y'all going to say he y'all family and then switch it up and say that, oh, he was just somebody who came to the store? One thing I do know is... Everybody need to throw them RP dolls in the comment section if you're new to the channel. Everything that happened in this case is all being brought to the forefront. Everything being brought to the light now. And everybody thought that the FBI and the MPD, they weren't going to jump on top of it. But when the feds come, they come. They build up all the evidence they need. They got all them people locked up for hitting up young Dolph. I want y'all to really look at this man and really pay attention to the fact that Yo Gotti... He thought he got away with it. And we know for a fact, hey, hit the like button if you rocking with PRE. Throw the PREs in the comments.